us in action. God is here. Truly, God is here. My name is Asme Boman from Okrika. I came to allocate this OPM from a brother. He said that fleet him, and when somebody brought him to this OPM, and when he took assignment, everything gone over. Oh, you came because somebody was afflicted. And the person said he came to OPM when he was afflicted and he was healed here. Yes. You see, people, I, if, if people that are afflicted come to OPM and they are healed. So that was the testimony that brought you to OPM. So uh -huh. when I came to OPM on the 19th of June. Last month. Last month. My tummy was very big. Hey. So in the time of assignment, when I met daddy, he stand, he thought I'm pregnant. And I told him no. That I am not pregnant. I went for operation for six times. That is. You went I... to operation for six times. Uh huh. Then he said I should open my tummy. Then when I opened my tummy, he washed my tummy with anointing oil, and oh. and he uh -huh. gave me anointing oil to drink, and he slapped me. So I told him, I said, Daddy, with my situation, they said I should come back for another operation. That is why I came. Make and it a seven operation. <laughs> and I don't have strength to, to do the yep, assignment. Then you uh -huh. said, with uh, the condition I am, say, I will do it. I, will, I should try. I said, do the fasting. Please, where is the video? <laughs> something that uh, he will forsake the, I will forsake the, uh, the fasting. The assistant pastor to said I should do it. Really, I, I, sat, I slept here and I started the assignment on Monday. I, I don't know that I can because the way my body is, I don't have any strength. I, don't, I cannot even stand longer. I know I is. Before that, even that operation, they afflict me of uh, heart disease. When I went to different tests, they said my, I, have a, I have a stone in my lungs that I will go for heart operation. That process was there before this operation started. And I was not sick. Suddenly, I begin to feel feverish. I cannot walk again. When they take me to hospital, they said uh, that I, am, well, I was five months pregnant and they said that blood around all my stomach, that they should, take me, they should operate me. And when they operate me, the next day, my tummy started swelling. Oh, that was where your problem started. The second operation after today, just like that. From the private hospital at Okrika, they did four times. The last one, all my intestines poured out on top bed. And the doctor said I should go. And they take me to UPTH. So when I did the UPTH, the last, the last teaching, the doctor said that I should go with that day. That very day they teach me, they discharge me that I should go, I should not stay. And the bed I slept in that UPTH. I left that UPTH after five and they admitted another person. The, the level of lung in the night, that person gave up. They cleaned the bed and dropped it. After three days, they admitted another person. 
that the same day evening, the person died again. <laughs> so, so the, I don't know why the doctor all said I should go back. But when I get home, the operation, everything open. When they remove the plaza, you will see my intestines. That is the case I was. So my tummy was very big. I cannot do anything on my own. When you see me, people don't know that I will survive. After that uh, assignment that day, in the evening I went to bed. I observed that my chest was so heavy as if I carry a load of water. After that, I, I slapped. And after the assignment. After the slap! Bah! Hola. Uh -huh. What happened? After the slap, what happened? My chest very free. And when I go back for test, they said they don't, they don't see that stone in my heart again. Uh -huh. <laughs> I took a healing uh, assignment that day. But when I get to my stomach, very. You see, it seems that is the, the, the worst time of my life. When daddy was doing the, the uh, uh, deliverance prayer this morning, he said we should open our legs and we should close our hands, that the, blood of, the, the power of God will come into us and we will drink the blood of Jesus. On the, on the process of the third time, I drink the blood. He said anything that is in your blood should flush out. When I drink the blood, I struggle to drink. I cannot drink. And I force myself down. When I drink the blood, I just see a bomb inside my stomach. Yeah, and bomb inside your stomach. Uh -huh. And I saw, I, I begin to feel some. And when I go out, I saw something like uh, mud, black mud, came out inside me. And instantly, my tummy just go down. <laughs> hey man, listen, listen to this. I gave her assignment. The stomach have not left. She still came back and said, Daddy, I have done the assignment. The chest, oh, you hit me for chest. The chest have opened, but the stomach is still big. Then during the deliverance today, I said, open your leg. That is why, you see this assignment, you take the assignment to clear the way. Then the deliverance, if you take assignment, you don't do your deliverance, it's useless, it will not work. If you take assignment, you don't come for your deliverance on Sunday. Your Sunday deliverance, the assignment is useless, it will not work. Now, it is during that deliverance that we are doing. She, she, as she drank the blood of Jesus, she, boom, she went to the toilet, check, check. Mud came out from her body. Thick mud came out from her body. Instantly, the stomach came down. But if she has based only on the assignment, if you take assignment, you don't do your deliverance, you are wasting your time. The deliverance is the most important. The assignment clears the way for the deliverance to manifest. Give Jesus a clap of knee down. OPM. Dr. Jesus in action. God is here. Brethren, my name is Mr. and Mrs. Ezewa Alio. We live at number 10 C. Choba Street, off Garrison. My testimony goes like this. On March this year, my husband came back from job and started complaining of heaviness in his brain. Heaviness in his brain, eh? I said, which type of uh, affliction is this? I thought it, it was something easy. We prayed that night. On April, this did not occur again. On May, the problem continues. On that May, my husband went to work. We were living in garrison. From morning to night, my husband did not return till in the midnight. When we asked, he would find himself in Burukri. While we are living in garrison, a bad road here. So he find himself in Burukri while we are living in garrison. I started crying. I said, which type of affliction is this again? On the third of this month, I was sitting in the front. I said, I will not go because Isaac said, I will not go unless God bless me. So I will I, not go unless you bless me. Uh -huh. So I made vow in front of this place. I said, Lord, if you heal my husband today, mm -hmm. I will come here with a live goat. Mm. I will meet daddy. Okay. So, so when, it, when it was our, our turn, it, I was to hit my husband. <laughs> <laughs> uh -huh. 
So when I hit your husband, what happened? Eh? You asked me a question because the video was. So when I hit your husband, my husband was totally healed. healed. Clap for Doctor Jesus, everybody. You have the video. <laughs> Lay down. Clap for Dr. Jesus, everybody. Opinion. Dr. Jesus in action. Dr. Jesus in action. God is here. Forever God is here. My name is Grace Andrew Cohen. I came from Abia State, Aluchuku government. I want to testify the goodness of God in my life. I delegate OPM through my friend. Mm -hmm. She has an, a sickness that somebody sent an, a sickness to her. Her face was turned to black. But the day she come back to my workplace, God healed her through this OPM. I asked her, what do you use to cure your sickness? She said that she bought bottled water and anointing. Because she had gone to many places, hospital, many places, they say that if the sickness cover her face, that she will die. Oh, she, her face was black when she came? Yes. She was... That is the sickness. How, how is it? Can you describe it? They say that the sickness is... Uh -uh. How did you see it? How did you see the sickness? She's yellow past me, but her face was masquerade. She was more fairer than you, but she, um, her face was like masquerade. She became black. So, after she came to OPM, you saw her. When you saw her, how did, was she looking? She looked very handsome. All her face, everything gone out. All her face, the fairness came out. Everything. No Give Jesus a clap offering. So you asked her, which medicine did you use? Yes. Uh -huh. She now said it's anointing oil and the water that she used on her face. And I said, okay, me also, I'm going to go to this church. As far as you give a testimony for this, your condition, I, I shall give a testimony. I came here last week, Sunday. Oh, when was your first time of coming to OPM? Last week, Sunday. Last week, Sunday, and she does fine today. Clap for Dr. Jesus. Eh? I've been having bleeding for most four years now. Wonderful. You've been no, bleeding for four years? Yes. No, pre no pregnant, nothing, but blood will be coming out in my body. I've gone to many hospitals, do tells. The, the result will be the blood, the, the bleeding is the ACs. Even I went to a quiet bomb, do tells, went to many places, even Abba Medicine at Rumo Kurushi, I went to many places spending money, still no solution. But last week Sunday when I came to this OPM, I bought a bottle of water. After daddy prayed for their bottle of water, I drank the water. My brother and my sisters, the bleeding stopped instantly. And how much did you buy this water? 100 naira. 100 naira. Is it small one or horrible? The big one. Even that, that Saturday, I went to test also. This is the test. The doctor said that the bleeding is TSC, that no solution to stop the bleeding. I went to hospital, I take injection. The bleeding is still continuing. Even when I came on Sunday, I changed four times. Before I drink the water. You change your bath four times. Yes. Before you drink the water. So yes. as soon as you drink water, what happened? The blood stopped. <laughs> okay, all this was that the worst you've been going, 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 going. Going, 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 going. Ah. I just want to thank God for God who delivered me from that condition. I cannot stay with my friend for two seconds, even at my workplace. I bypass always 200. Before a day, I will finish 10. But since last week Sunday, till now, I cannot experience any blood in me again. Buy the water. I will stay here and I will speak. 
power of God will enter into the water. Miracle. The water will become the blood of Jesus. So, the pastor that is always talking, how can people be blessing water? It is marine. Come and take water and be delivered. Clap for Dr. Jesus. Truly, God is here. God is really here. Honestly, God is here. Truly, God is in OPM. I am a testimony and I am a witness. Are you tired of being single? Are you tired of looking for a good job? Are people calling you barren woman? Do you need salvation? Dr. Jesus is the answer. If church cannot change you, what do you do? Change your church. Change your church. Change your church. Come this Sunday morning before 8 a.m. And God's general, Apostle Chibuzo, will attend to you and give you prayer assignment. And your story must change. Please don't know when the role of this individual is over. The role this pastor played in my life is over. It is time for me to move to my next level. Dr. Jesus in action. God is here. God is here. God is here. OPM. Dr. Jesus in action. My name is Joy Akenga Derimi. I am here to testify the goodness of God in my life. It was uh, February. So when we are watching this OPM in television, my husband keep on telling me that he's praying, he's asking God to direct him where he'll be paying his tithe. That, oh, that me... God should direct him where he will pay his tithe. Yes. Because, let me tell you, where he's paying his tithe, he's not seeing results. God, direct me where I will pay my tithe. Uh -huh. So he keep on telling me that. So one day, daddy was ministering, and I called him, he said, ah, this is your brother. This evil man, well, he keep on telling me that. So one day, reaching that February end, then I call me, say, ah, this is where I want to be paying my tithe now. So this there, is where I want to be paying my tithe. This is where I want to be paying my tithe. The, the instruction Jesus gave to Peter is, feed my sheep. There are two types of feeding. There is physical feeding and there is spiritual feeding. But so many places, they are only doing the spiritual feeding. They are not doing the physical feeding. Jesus fed 5,000 men and children and women. But now, the pastor is only asking, bring so, 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 so. There is offering for Pastor Laugh. There is offering for Pastor Car. Offering for everything. Offering, 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 offering. If the money in your pocket does not empty, they will not stop. Offering. Give this. Give. Give. If, if everything, whether your pocket is not finished, bring your wife. Shout hallelujah. Dosh. Uh -huh. So we keep on coming. So now, the place is working. They hate him so much. To the extent, they wanted to sack him. Oh, and when he was working, they hurt him. Even they wanted to sack him. But when he started paying, when he started paying, what happened? So when he started paying his time. Yeah. So after that February, reaching March, the man was disturbing in that place. They now sack him. Wait, the man that was troubling him, they now sack the man. Anybody troubling you shall be sacked. When he has not started paying his tithe in opium, when he was paying it in the altar of greed and criminals, there was nothing happening. He was hated in his office. They wanted to sack him. But when he started paying it in the altar that is fatal, altar that God is happy with, altar we have free school, free oil and gas, free restaurant, God is happy with this altar. Suddenly, the person that wants to sack him, they sack the person. Uh -huh. So now, that even now, the white man they brought. The, the white man they brought. Uh, uh -huh. The white man they brought to present the man. So now the man said that, ah, he don't know that my God knows the job like this. So, mm. so now, so I thought I was pregnant. So I went to scan. When I went to scan, I don't know. There is one thing they say they saw in my, inside my womb. They said they saw something on your womb. Uh, I thought it's pregnant. So I pick pregnant as this deliverance assignment. 
Ok, décès de sort. So many grammar, yeah? So all those watching on television, you can just read it. I don't want to start to go read for that. Begin your head deck. Situation, vulnerability. Eh? So, after you came here and took assignment, you came here when? When did you come here? February. February. Eh, eh, so now, when you came and took assignment, what happened now? When I went to the listing, they now told me that they saw fibro. Uh -huh. They said they saw fibro. Uh -huh. So I went to scan yesterday again. You went to scan? No, you have child. Don't pray. You went to scan. What happened? They said they did not say anything. That my womb is normal. That I can carry baby. Look at it. Shout out, Elia. Give Jesus a clap of it. Impression, normal finding. So the fibroid is gone. Homogenosis of oh, whatever. Nina, clap for Dr. Jesus, everybody. OPM. Dr. Jesus in action. Dr. Jesus in action. God is here. Our name is Mr. and Mrs. Abbey Zelaya. We just come to thank God for what he did for us. And at the same time, we come to dedicate my car. Your car. Clap for Dr. Jesus. OPM. Dr. Jesus in action. Dr. Jesus in action. God is here. Truly, God is here. We come to dedicate. I thank God for the life of my husband. God bless him with a car. And I come to dedicate my company name. Clap for Dr. Jesus. Lay down. Once you come here, your story must change. There's no one like you, Jesus. There's no one like you. In our the end. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. You've just listened to the testimonies. You've listened to the message. You are next to testify in the name of Jesus. But if you're not born again, I can lead you to Christ right now. Can you just lead away where you are? Lay on the screen, let me pray with you. Repeat after me. Father Lord, I'm a sinner. I'm sorry. I promise not to go back to my old ways again in the name of Jesus. Now let me pray for you. Wonderful and great God, you say they will lick my people that I call my name, shall humble themselves and pray, and seek my face and turn it for them can ways. They will learn from heaven and I'll forgive and say I hear the Lord. Hear the Lord of the children today in Jesus' name. Congratulations, you're not a new creature. All things have passed away and left have become new. Now, you can see me. You can come and pick an assignment. You can come and see me by the grace of God. I'll give you an assignment. The assignment is free. You're not paying any money. In fact, if you go to any church and the pastor says, before you see the pastor, you pay money, that pastor happens to be an amber He's a thief. He's a rogue. There is nowhere the Bible says, before you see any man of God, you pay money, or you feel for him, or you do this express. So, you can come and see me, and I'll give you an assignment, and your story must change. In the name of Jesus. So call me on this number and Dr. Jesus shall meet you at the point of your need in Jesus' name. Truly, God is here. God is really here. Honestly, God is here. Truly, God is in OPM. I am a testimony and I am a witness. Are you tired of being single? Are you tired of looking for a good job? Are people calling you barren woman? Do you need salvation? Dr. Jesus is the answer. If church cannot change you, what do you do? Change your church. Change your church. Change your church. Come this Sunday morning before 8 a.m. and God's General, Apostle Chibuzo, will attend to you and give you prayer assignment and your story must change. Please don't know when the role of this individual is over. The role this pastor played in my life is over. It is time for me to move to my next level. Dr. Jesus in action. God is here. God.